So we hear that Queen Elizabeth tested positive for COVID-19. A lot of royal watchers concerned, Sloan. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we're concerned, but sending our well wishes. Now, the timing of the Queen's diagnosis comes as Britain prepares to lift its remaining restrictions due to the virus, including a policy that anyone infected won't be required to isolate. And the Queen has led by example since the onset of the pandemic, getting vaccinated and staying home when she asked the public to. On Sunday, Buckingham Palace released a statement saying, in part, Her Majesty is experiencing mild, cold like symptoms symptoms, but expects to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming week. She will continue to receive medical attention and will follow all the appropriate guidelines. The Queen's positive COVID diagnosis comes just after her son, Prince Charles, and his wife, Camilla, J Duchess of Cornwall, recently tested positive for COVID-19. And the monarch's health has been closely monitored since late last year when doctors advised the 95-year-old to not attend multiple events in a row after an overnight hospital stay. Although the Queen plans to continue working during this time, we'll have to see if she attends any upcoming events on her calendar. And the Queen is celebrating 70 years wow. on the throne. There's not that many people on the planet who have had the experience that Queen Elizabeth has. So I'm just, it's, I'm watching this. I want to make sure it's okay. Did Bieber also test positive for COVID this he week? Did, he did, but that's did. a different royal. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.